Adjusting to competitive pressures in the marketplace, a company often needs to introduce a new product in the shortest possible time. As mentioned previously, the easiest and least expensive way to accomplish this objective is to design a manual production method, using a sequence of workstations operating independently. The tooling for a manual method can be fabricated quickly and at low cost. If more than a single set of workstations is required to make the product in sufficient quantities, as is often the case, then the manual cell is replicated as many times as needed to meet demand. If the product turns out to be successful, and high future demand is anticipated, then it makes sense for the company to automate production. The improvements are often carried out in phases. Many companies have an automation migration strategy, that is, a formalized plan for evolving the manufacturing systems used to produce new products as demand grows. A typical automation migration strategy is the following. Phase 1 – Manual production using single station man cells operating independently. This is used for introduction of the new product for reasons already mentioned, quick and low-cost tooling to get started. Phase 2 – Automated production using single station automated cells operating independently. As demand for the product grows, and it becomes clear that automation can be justified, then the single stations are automated to reduce labor and increase production rate. Work units are still moved between workstations manually. Phase 3 – Automated integrated production using a multi-station automated system, with serial operations and automated transfer of work units between stations. When the company is certain that the product will be produced in mass quantities and for several years, then integration of the single station automated cells is warranted to further reduce labor and increase production rate. This strategy with the three phases is illustrated in this figure. Here we can see a typical automation migration strategy, where phase 1 shows manual production with single independent workstations. Phase 2 shows automated production stations with manual handling between stations. And phase 3 shows automated integrated production with automated handling between stations. The keyword AUT represents automated workstation. Details of the automation migration strategy vary from company to company, depending on the types of products they make and the manufacturing processes they perform. But well-managed manufacturing companies have policies like the automation migration strategy. There are several advantages of such a strategy. It allows introduction of the new product in the shortest possible time, since production cells based on manual workstations are the easiest to design and implement. It allows automation to be introduced gradually, in planned phases, as demand for the product grows, engineering changes in the product are made, and time is provided to do a thorough design job on the automated manufacturing system. It avoids the commitment to a high level of automation from the start, because there is always a risk that demand for the product will not justify it.